Hey Star Warriors, Stargeek here, and welcome to the 11th episode of Star Wars Factor Beam, the series where I tell you 5 Star Wars facts that you just can't pull away from. Each episode is centered around a certain character, film, or category. In today's episode, the character under lockdown in the cell block level of the Fact Star is... Ruler of the Galaxy, Emperor Palpatine. Let's hop right into it with fact number 1. Ian McDermott almost didn't get the iconic role of the Emperor. When Return of the Jedi was being made, the casting crew for Episode 6 were deciding between Ian McDermott, who was young and could handle wearing excessive amounts of makeup during shooting, and Alan Webb, who was genuinely elderly. They ultimately chose Alan Webb, but he became very sick soon after the decision, and was unsuitable for acting. This resulted in Ian McDermott getting the part. He was even young enough to play the role of the Emperor in the Episode 5 Special Edition and the three prequel films. If Alan Webb had been the one to play Palpatine in Return of the Jedi, we would be left with a completely different saga, without McDermott even appearing in the prequels. Ironic. He could save others from death, but not himself. Fact number two. 1980 was the year that The Empire Strikes Back was released to the world and the Emperor made his first appearance in hologram form. But you may have noticed something off with the Imperial Leader. This is actually a female actress with lots of heavy makeup, a Sith Lord robe, and the eyes of an ape. The commanding voice of the original Palpatine was that of Clive Reville. Ian McDermott did eventually replace this odd-looking character in the special editions, but it's still fun to look back upon the chimp lady. There is a great disturbance in the Force. Fact number three. For decades, no one knew the first name of the evil Galactic Emperor, but it was released in the new book by James Luceno titled Star Wars Tarkin. Emperor Palpatine's newly released name is Sheev Palpatine. I never thought that there could be a name worse than Minch Yoda. While Sheev may sound Star Warsy, Mike Palpatine would be a better fit. Even better would be something romantic or Greek. Sheev, Minch, who knows? Maybe we will eventually learn that Lobot's first name is Jim. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. Fact number four. Everyone knows Emperor Palpatine's infamous Order 66 used to destroy all Jedi in the galaxy, but do you know where it came from? George Lucas based the execution from President Franklin Delano Roosevelt when he signed the Executive Order 9066 on February 20th, 1942. Executive Order 9066 was used to initiate the internment of Japanese and Japanese Americans during World War II until the end of the war and the dropping of the Hiroshima bomb. The time has come. Execute Order 66. And finally, fact number five. This will be a quick string of facts that I'm going to be calling Flash Facts. Fact 5.1. Ian McDermott created Palpatine's iconic voice by using his stomach to project the sound. The result was a raspy croak that Lucas decided was perfect for the villainous character. Fact 5.2. The name Palpatine was based on the name Palantine in the 1976 film Taxi Driver. Lucas was forced to change the name in order to avoid legal problems. Fact 5.3. In a Blu-ray commentary, Ian McDermott claims that Palpatine is over 100 years old. Fact 5.4. Throughout the original trilogy, Palpatine was never referred to by name, but only as the Emperor. Fact 5.5. Ian McDermott and Darth Vader's body actor David Prowse have never met. For all the camera shots where Vader and the Emperor communicate or appear at the same time, Darth was played by Bob Anderson. And to end it off, we all know that Palpatine is the most cunning villain in the galaxy. Everything is proceeding. I have foreseen. <laughs> that wraps up episode 11 of Star Wars Factor Beam. Subscribe to Stargeek for weekly Star Wars content. How did the audio sound this episode? Today I tried out my new pop filter. Please tell me if this improved quality even the slightest bit. Did you learn anything about the 100 year old female elder, Sheev Roosevelt? If so, put it in the comments below. You can go check out my Facebook page linked in the description below as it really helps me out when you like my page. If you go over to the page you will get daily news on Star Wars Episode 7, Star Geek Episodes, memes, and even Palpatine. Also go and check out my new Twitter account, at StarGeekYT, for tons of quick updates. Try clicking on the screen to subscribe and click on the link to the left for my last video, a Star Geek Holiday Special. You can also click on the right to watch the last episode of Star Wars Factor Beam, in this case a special 10 fact episode on A New Hope. All links are in the description below. Don't forget to like the video and comment if you learned something new today about the Emperor. Until we meet again in a galaxy far, far away, this has been Stargeek. Stargeek.